हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट द बोट कैन ट्रेवल विद स्पीड ऑफ सिक्सटीन किलोमीटर पर आवर इन स्टिल वाटर द पॉइंट ऑफ डेस्टिनेशन इज लोकेटेड अलॉन्ग द डेस्ट लाइन इफ द वाटर इज मूविंग एट फोर किलोमीटर पर आवर डिटर्मन द बेरिंग एंगल थीटा एट विच द बोस्ट द बोट मस्ट ट्रेवल टू स्टे ऑन कोर्स सो द बोट कैन ट्रेवल विद स्पीड ऑफ सिक्सटीन किलोमीटर पर आवर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डिफाइन आवर एब्सोलूट कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो लेट से दैट एट सम आर्बिट्री पॉइंट वी हैव दिस एब्सोलूट कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस एब्सोलूट कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम द विलासिटी ऑफ द बोट ए लॉन्ग दिस डेस्ट लाइन विल बी कंसिडर्ड इज द एब्सोलूट विलासिटी रिलेटिव टू दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट so relative to this absolute origin and the boat will move along this particular line right so if if the boat is moving along this line which is making angle theta with the vertical so this will be the relative velocity along this particular line the boat will try to move with 16 km per hour so along this solid line the boat will have the relative velocity so now as we know that Uh, the the velocity of the boat with respect to water the velocity of the boat with respect to water this will be equal to vb the velocity of the boat which is along the dash line minus the velocity of the water so now if i show that the the velocity of the boat is along the dotted line which is making 70 degree with the horizontal so this is the velocity of the boat along the dotted line so let me place it here and it is making a uh, 70 degrees 70 degrees with the horizontal and now the water is moving in the downward direction that is in this direction so now as we know that if we want to find the velocity of boat with respect to water so we have to subtract the vw vector from vb so this is vb so let me write that this is vb and vb magnitude is not known we know this 16 km per hour this is vbw let me uh, let me write it here that we know the magnitude of vbw which is 16 km per hour and then we know the velocity of water which is 4 km per hour so to find that angle theta we have to subtract the vel the velocity of water vector from vb so the velocity of water act is acting in the downward direction so in order to subtract it we have to reverse the direction of this vector so this will be our minus vw vector this is minus this is minus vw so the relative velocity of the boat with respect to water will direct from the starting point of vb to this particular point so this will be our velocity of boat with respect to water vector and now its magnitude is known this is 16 km per hour the magnitude of this is known which is 4 km per hour the negative sign represents the direction right so now if if this is if this is velocity of boat with respect to water which is along this solid line so it is making theta with the vertical so now let me represent that theta here so if i draw a vertical line here so this vbw is making this angle theta here so now if if this vbw is making angle theta here so it it is going to make that same angle theta here since this angle and this angle both are alternate angles so let me show that this angle is also theta now to find this theta we can apply science law but before that we have to find this vb magnitude so in order to find this vb magnitude we can apply the science law and we are given that this angle this angle is 70 and if i draw a horizontal line here so this angle is also 70 degrees and this angle is 90 since the velocity of water vector is Uh, in the vertical direction so so this angle is 70 and this is 90 so this whole angle is 70 plus 90 which is 160 so this 
so now we can show that this whole angle this whole angle is 160 so let me write that this angle is 160 degrees now we can apply the law of cosines so we can write that we know the enclosed angle between this vector and this vector and we know the magnitude of this so this will be by law of cosines we can write that 16 square will be equal to vw square which is 4 plus vb square minus 2 into 4 vb and cos of the included angle between uh, vw and vb which is 160 so this is cos of 160 so let me write this vb square term first so this is vb square then this is this is 2 into 4 into cos of 160 so 2 multiplied by 4 into cos of 160 so this is minus 7.52 minus 7.52 vb and then we have 4 square minus 16 square so 4 square minus 16 square this gives us minus 240 so this is minus 240 minus 240 and this is equal to 0 so now as we can see that this is a quadratic equation and the variable is vb so it will have two roots so let me find the roots of uh, this quadratic equation the coefficient of vb square is 1 the coefficient of vb is 7.52 and the constant is minus 240 so this gives us vb value equals to minus 12.18 and then we have the second let's say this is vb1 and this is vb2 we have two velocities for vb that is 19.70 now we can find if we know vb we can find theta by applying the sine's law so i can write that by sine's law we can write that sine of theta divided by the magnitude of the opposite side so so the opposite side is vb so this is sine of theta divided by vb this will be equal to sine of 160 and the magnitude of the opposite side so uh, on the opposite side of 160 we have this relative velocity which is 16 so from this equation we can write that theta is equal to vb sine of 160 divided by 16 and we can take sine inverse so this is sine inverse so this is now we have two magnitudes of vb so we will have two thetas so theta 1 will be equal to vb1 sine of 160 divided by 16 so theta 1 will be equal to uh, sine inverse sine inverse then vb vb1 is minus 12.18 sine of 160 divided by 16 so this gives us uh, theta 1 equals to theta 1 equals to minus 15.09 degrees and if I put vb2 so that will give us theta 2 so now in this equation we have vb2 sine of 160 so now we have to replace this this is uh, vb2 which is 19.70 so now we have theta 2 equals to 24.90 degrees now we have to verify that whether theta 1 is accurate or theta 2 is accurate so for that is we can see that this sum is this theta plus this angle plus this this must be equal to 90 degree in order to verify that angle theta we have to find this angle alpha so we can find this angle alpha by applying the sine's law so we can write it sine of alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side so the opposite side is this this is the opposite side which is vw which is 4 that will be equal to the sine of 160 divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is vbw that is 16 so from this we can write that alpha is equal to sine inverse 4 sine of 160 divided by 16 so this gives us sine inverse 4 sine of 160 divided by 16 so this gives us 4.905 so alpha is equal to or we can say that this is 4.91 degrees now if 
we, we we want to find we want to verify that whether this theta is accurate or this theta is accurate so we have to verify that theta plus alpha plus 70 this must be equal to 90 so theta plus alpha plus 70 degree this must be equal to 90 degrees so if you want to verify theta 1 so then we have to put theta 1 so theta 1 is 15.09 the minus sign tells us the direction so we have to put only the magnitude so this is 15.09 15.09 plus alpha so alpha is this which is 4.91 plus 70 so this gives us 90 so th with theta 1 we get 90 right so let let me write that for theta 1 we have that summation equal to 90 now if i put theta 2 so theta 2 is 24.90 plus alpha alpha which is 4.91 plus 70 this gives us 99.81 so for theta 2 we we get 99.81 degrees which is not equal to 90 degrees so this means that theta 2 is not the accurate solution theta 1 is the accurate solution so now the solution of this problem is that the the boat must must move with an angle of 15.09 uh, with the vertical along this solid line in order to reach its destination which is located at an angle of 70 degrees so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems